Whew. Okay. I cannot see myself, so hopefully this will turn out okay. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> it sounds so weird saying that out loud, considering I've only heard it thousands of times from hundreds and hundreds of content creators, but yeah, here we are. I'm finally starting a YouTube channel. I think it's about time. For those of you who are seeing my face for the very first time, hi, I'm Danielle, aka A Great and Terrible Library, and I've been over on Bookstagram and BookTok and now Threads for several years, but I've been a, um, a user and just like a, a watcher and a fan of the YouTube book community, aka booktube for many many years now seven eight years or something i started the a great and terrible library instagram account back in 2020 and it has grown over the last three years and it's become so much fun and i've gotten to a point where i i'm flabbergasted honestly at the following that i've managed to accrue on there and um now i want to join YouTube and you know I've been on the sidelines for a long time and now I want to be in the community and adding content here. For those of you who are following me or if you are follow already following me on other platforms and now you're venturing over into YouTube, hi, it's good to see you. Um, thank you for your constant um, support and loyalty. It continues just to baffle my mind. Um, so happy to have you here. Real quick, let's talk about why. Why do I want to be a part of BookTube now and add this platform to my brand? I love Instagram and I will always love Instagram and I'm going to keep doing content on Instagram, don't worry. Not, that is not stopping. And obviously TikTok kind of reigns over everything at this point and I love, I like TikTok a lot. It's fun, um, great for silly, goofy, short videos and short form content as most of us are aware of now as, you know, is the preferable form of social media intake at this point. And that's all fine and good, but I will admit I feel, sometimes I feel very restricted with both of those platforms with how much I can actually go into the books I'm reading, both in character length for Instagram um, and of course in video length for TikTok. And I wanted to start a YouTube, finally. I think YouTube is a, is a platform that really fosters and encourages longer discussion. And I feel like I have a lot more, I will have a lot more free reign and a lot more flexibility on YouTube. And I also just love the BookTube community a lot. I always have. Um, I've been following a lot of the OGs here since they started their accounts. I feel like I see a lot more variety of books on YouTube than I do on Instagram and TikTok. Granted, that might just be because of the algorithm for sure. The demographic here on YouTube is a little older and um, and I'm just, I'm excited. I, I've been dreaming about doing something like this for a long time, especially since I started my account on Instagram, but I've always kind of been too chicken to do it and now we're here and we're doing it. So what kind of content can you expect to see on here? If you've been on BookTube for a while or if you are a BookTuber yourself, none of this will be a surprise to you. You can expect book hauls, book reviews, of course, wrap-ups, vlogs, tags, rankings, top 10 videos, all the good stuff that you normally see. But I also want to eventually start incorporating stuff from my own personal brand from Instagram into long-form video content as well. So things like my Tipsy Tuesday reviews that I do, or even Book Wine Wednesdays. Um, my interviews, which are coming back, by the way. Those are coming back. I kind of took a long break from doing inter author interviews. I would love to, those will for now stay on Instagram Live, but I'm really hoping to bring those into YouTube. Um, and I think those will be just much more um, higher quality videos and higher quality content eventually. Yeah, so I'm really excited to kind of get in the groove and start pushing out content. Again, if you are seeing me for the very first time and don't already follow me on um, other platforms, what kind of books can you expect to be featured on this channel? Well, you will soon 
very quickly realized that fantasy is my one true love. Fantasy has always been my favorite genre for books. So most of the books you're going to see me feature on here are probably going to be fantasy. And fantasy ranging of all different kinds of sub of subgenres. So high and epic fantasy, romanticy, dark fantasy, urban fantasy. I I like to mix it up. But speaking of that, I I was in a romance phase for a lot of 2021 and almost all of 2022. Um, but I kind of got burnt out on romance a little bit. I'm still reading it and I still love it. Um, and it's a great palette cleanser a lot of the time. But I, in 2023, I've been really trying to challenge myself when it comes to getting out of my comfort zone and reading more of other genres. So you're going to see a little bit of everything, honestly. You're going to see gen fiction. You're going to see horror, mystery, thriller, historical fiction, nonfiction. So you're, you're going to see a wide range of things but it's mostly gonna be fantasy. So if any of that sounds like it would be of interest to you, um, I would be honored if you subscribed, uh, like the video, leave me a comment down below, say hi. And I'm really excited for this new phase of A Great and Terrible Library. This part of my life is very important to me and I love it. And it has expanded and grown more than I could have ever imagined and I'm just really excited to be a part of booktube and to start contributing to the community not just watching and supporting from the sidelines like I said so thank you so much for watching and um, more to come I will see you guys very soon or more accurately you will see me very soon okay bye